What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? Hope you're having a fantastic day. We've got a great tech news day for you. A couple of stories and a handful of questions. So let's dive into the tech news. First and our first is an app that Samsung has released for photos to make your photos look better with a touch of a button. You don't have to really do any of the editing. It just makes everything look good. And this is the app. It's called the Galaxy Enhance X AI Photo Upscaler in Magic Editor. When we dive into the gory details of this on the Galaxy App Store, it says the app is a one-stop AI solution, also known as artificial intelligence, for all media enhancements with a single tap. Your image is analyzed for imperfections, enhanced and refined to a higher quality. Basically what they're saying is that they're gonna make the photo look better no matter what the situation is all about. And when I tried to download this on my Galaxy Z Fold 3, it says the app was incompatible, so I think we're gonna have to wait on that. But if you have a regular phone, like an S22 Ultra like myself, the app actually downloads. And I'll link it down below if you wanna download it. All you do is just click on that link and it'll bring you to the Galaxy App Store. But in my short time using the app, I personally haven't noticed anything uh, great about the app in terms of it working better. Uh, it just is not very impressive from what I can tell. So you literally open up the app, you hit select picture, you find the picture that you want. I've got a picture here. I'm gonna hit the enhance button down here, which is like a little star. It does some magic. It says adding magic, perfecting the pixels, enhancing the magic, adding blah, 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 blah. So it's running through it. it takes a second or two. And when I look at it, I honestly don't notice anything of anything being amazing about it. Not that impressed by it, I have to admit, but you might absolutely love it. Um, there's, if you use Google, uh, Google Photos, Google Photos already does something like this, so it's not even, it's not that amazing. Um, it's not as mind boggling as I thought it would be actually, but it, I assume it's gonna get better and better over time as up apps, the app updates over time. But still, it's just, uh, I don't know. It's cool to get because it's free and if you have a Samsung phone, so I definitely would say try it out. And you can save it and share it and do all that kind of stuff. You can even go down here and remove reflections and f fix the fa face and add portrait mode to photos. So there's cool, some cool things in there. It's just like these set of features are almost in a million other apps. But I guess if you're not using those million other apps, you have one on your Samsung phone that you can use. Again, it's linked down below. Next up is about Samsung Galaxy Unpacked, which is supposed to happen in about 20-ish days. And we've been hearing August 10th, we've been hearing that they're going to announce the Galaxy Z Fold 4, Flip 4, Watch 5s, the Galaxy Buds 2 Pros, and maybe some other stuff as well. But we've heard the date being August 10th. Well, it's official. And I'm not going to show the image, because I don't want to get copyright strike from Samsung just in case, but Evan Blast leaked out an image showing August 10th as the day, and it's like, yeah, it shows the Samsung stuff. There's nothing great, it just shows a Z Fold 4, it says August 10th next to it, and so that'll obviously be the day. We've I've also heard that it's gonna be an in-person event, but then I heard today from somebody else that it will not be an in-person event, so I'm gonna go with what I've heard today, that it will not be an in-person event, it'll probably be a virtual event. To add on to that, if you think about the last couple of releases from Samsung on their phones, they've let us do some pre-orders, pre-pre-orders of the devices, and I assume they're gonna do that as well. Again, probably this, I would say in the next seven days, you'll probably be able to pre-pre-order it. But again, in the past, the last couple of pre-pre-orders haven't been anything to, to be amazed by because of the fact that they usually send those invites after the pre-orders have already started, and then you and sometimes don't even get the phone until after people have gotten it and you're late. So it's like almost like the pre-pre-order is kind of dumb because they don't do anything with it. You get it too late. So I would still sign up for it. It doesn't hurt your chances of, of uh, you know pre-ordering it without that, but at least you have that as a backup. So I would still say pre-pre-order it when the event and the ability to do that happens. And I'll definitely let you guys know when they allow us to pre-pre-order it. But August 10th is the official day. It should also be the first day to pre-order the phone as well uh, and get it in your hands about two weeks after that. Your question of the day is, are you gonna watch Samsung Unpacked or not? Are you gonna uh, watch it live with me? Let me know in the comments down below. With that said, let's jump into the Q&A portion of the video and drop that. 
First question from Marcel Allen. Do you think they upgraded the screen protector on the Z Fold 4? I think it's still probably gonna be a, a film screen protector. I don't think they've made anybody's made film screen protectors like vastly different than the last couple of years. So I would assume it's probably gonna be this, a lot of the same. Marcel Allen again, when did you take off your screen protector? How long does it take for your screen to show any damage? I'm asking, I'm already on my third screen protector and going to need a fourth screen protector. I've had mine off for a while and you shouldn't see any screen damage if you take care of it. As for the, 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 the stretch marks I had, that wasn't because I took the screen protector off. It's just because the screen was open and closed too much per Samsung standards, which it shouldn't be like that. So I wouldn't say that it will automatically get damaged if you take it off. It's only if you're gonna be rough with it. Casey's asking, do you know if the Z Fold 4 will have the S Pen integrated S Pen or will it just have, will it just be like the Z Fold 3 where you gotta buy the damn thing separately with the case? So Z Fold 4, the S Pen will not be integrated into the phone. Now, will it come with the phone? I think it will not come with the phone, but I think if you pre-order it, you will get it for free. Digital Death is asking if I'll do a Z Fold live event uh, live on my channel. Yes, I will if we don't, uh, if I don't attend it live, which I don't think they're gonna have. So yeah, we'll definitely cover that live on my channel. Ben's Tech Tube, uh, is your Z Fold 3 still sick or is it better? I couldn't tell if you had fixed it or not in the latest video. Uh, I, it's, it doesn't, it, well, so does, is it still crooked? Yes, it's still crooked. Um, I haven't gotten it fixed. I probably won't get it fixed. I'm just gonna trade it in for the Z Fold 4. And our last question from Jocelyn, what's the difference between an unlocked Fold 4 phone or a carrier phone. I'm gonna do a video on this and I'll release it because I kind of want to go in depth with it. It's something I've uh, talked about in the past with those phones, but um, I'll talk about it in more detail and what I think you should buy. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have a question, leave it in the comments down below with the first word being question and we'll see you down the road. Peace. <laughs>